I wanted to give you a strategic perspective on AWS reInvent. So it's going on right now. Why is Amazon launching what it's launching? It's not just because it's AI. It's not just because it's on trend. I've worked at Amazon. I know how strategic they are from the inside. Fundamentally, what Amazon is doing is it's playing a 15-year catch-up game right now. It was surprised by the launch of ChatGPT along with the rest of the world. We were all surprised in 2022. And it takes some time for a company that big to pivot. And what we are seeing now in Las Vegas is the results of the whole company pivoting under Andy Jassy. And at the end of the day, if you're looking for what the big plays are, like in between the lines, like there's about a million different things they've launched at AWS. What are the ones that matter? I would argue that there are three big strategic moves that matter. The first one is at the chip level. When they acquired Annapurna Labs, they acquired a chip designer. And what Amazon needed was a chip that would enable them to cut costs on their own model development and break their costly dependency on NVIDIA. Because for Amazon, NVIDIA is a massive cost center and Amazon is a notoriously frugal company. And they don't appreciate being locked into a costly chipset that they have no control over. So they're building their own. They acquired Annapurna Labs. They launched the Tranium 2 chip yesterday in Las Vegas to general availability. They claim it's super effective at training for large language models. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's probably well designed. I think there's a difference between a chip that has been launched and a chip that has been proven at data center scale. And that is what NVIDIA is going to call out. Because like it or not, NVIDIA is the only one that really has the ability to say, our chips are proven at data center scale. And they're proven at data center scale all over the world. And we help with designing server racks. And we work with multiple companies. And we are the people on GPUs for training large language models. Nobody else can say that. Amazon is hoping to say it. This is a long game, but Amazon is hoping to get into that position in the industry over time. And they're relentless. Like they're gonna come out with Tranium 3, Tranium 4, like it's coming. So you move up from the chipset in the, in the stack. The next big play they're making is an ecosystem play. Right now, OpenAI wants to claim that they work with Azure and they work with Microsoft and like that is the stack to go to for enterprise. And what Amazon wants to say is the AWS Bedrock service is the stack to go to. The AWS Bedrock service is where you wanna be for AI. And it's not just for the models, it's for all, everything that goes with them. So when they launched automated reasoning, for example, that's an example of a smaller service that they see fitting into a larger ecosystem of value around bedrock that would make it attractive for an enterprise. Now we get to the models. Nova is their new cutting edge model that they just announced. Nova is clearly going to be a class that already has a pro and a light and a something else, like so many different versions. When you look at the test results, Nova comes in in what we call the four class model. So Chad GPT four level capabilities. So it's about where everybody else is. It's not cutting edge in any more than anybody else is. It's a little bit worse than Claude by a lot of benchmarks, but not a lot, like just a touch. Um, and so what you get is a model that's good for most use cases. They'll probably wrap it in with preferential pricing. Again, it's an enterprise play to wrap you into the AWS ecosystem. It's not necessarily a reason to switch if you're an Azure customer. That brings us to Claude. They just invested $4 billion in Claude, which is chump change for them, but it's a hedge play. At the end of the day, they want to be working with a model that is testing really, really, really well, that's testing even better than their own Nova model. And they want to be able to use Claude for cutting edge use cases that show that they're on the forefront of the AI wave. They are buying their way to the forefront of the AI wave. And so Claude is being used in, for example, the supercomputer that they announced at Nova, or the, the supercomputer that they announced uh, in Las Vegas at reInvent. And at the end of the day, the supercomputer to me feels like a 
deeply symbolic project. Of course, you need to show you can do something with a supercomputer. Of course, you need to use the cutting edge model Claude to do it. Mostly the value there is going to be in being able to tell companies you're selling to that you're building a supercomputer with Claude because it makes them more likely to purchase from AWS. That's the play. So we'll see. I worked at a division at Amazon that was playing from the number two position for a while. Uh, that was at Prime Video. And I know how relentless Amazon is and how patient they are firsthand. This is looking to me like they are setting themselves up to, over time, out-execute Microsoft and OpenAI in the enterprise space. So we will see, but that's how I read reInvent. That's the context I have for it. So when you look at the news, when you look at all the announcements, don't get lost. Like that's the strategic play that Amazon is making.